last visualization type in this category of visualizing qualitative data is not so much a graph or a chart or a diagram, but what I'm going to call a technique. And I call it the sketchy technique. Some people call it a GUI technique. There's lots of names for it, but it's basically sort of getting this hand-drawn effect on your visualizations. And if you've ever seen Mona Chalabi's work from The Guardian, you'll be familiar with this approach. And one of the advantages of using, using this sketchy or GUI technique is that you get rid of some of those hard edges around the circles or the bars or the points. And to help us understand more about this technique, I've invited my good friend Stephanie Posovic on the video series to talk more about it. So I'm going to hand this over to Stephanie so you can learn more about this particular visualization technique. Hi, John. Uh, thanks for having me. Um... And hello, everyone. Um, I'm here today to talk about the sketchy chart style. A sketchy chart isn't really a specific graph type. It's more of a stylistic approach that can be applied to any type of graph that you can think of, where instead of using sharp vector lines, perfect right angles, and super precise data representation, the whole chart or visualization is rendered by hand or perhaps rendered into a handmade style using code. Some visualization creators use sketchy renderings of charts to represent uncertainty or imprecision within the data. And this approach has its roots in how in communication design and data visualization, sketches are used to indicate early ideation and unfinished ideas that still need development to force a client at the beginning of a project to think about the bigger picture as opposed to spending too much time on the tiny details at such an early stage. When used in finished charts, Handmade approaches to rendering data reinforce the fact that this data in chart is not handed down from the universe, but is ultimately created through the decisions of imperfect humans. A reminder for all of us that charts should always be seen as conversation starters as opposed to infallible truths. And finally, handmade approaches also make sense in some cases for the representation of personal data, where the data is drawn by the hand of the person that this data was collected from. Okay, so what do you need to take into account when using this approach within your charts? Well, firstly, your decision to use the sketchy chart style must have a reason. Lots of people think that just slapping a sketchy coded style onto their chart makes it fun or playful or quirky, but without a good reason for why you think this approach is vital to the communication of your message, it will make your chart or design weaker. As with any realm of design, whether it's charts or the broader field of communication design, ensuring that your design decisions suit the context, so your audience, your subject, your message, and more is critical. As Catherine Dignazio and Lauren Klein expand upon in their book, Data Feminism, rendering charts in a neutral aesthetic as um, you know, things that like Edward Tufte uh, puts forward is as much of a choice as rendering your data in a handmade, hand-drawn style. So consider your choices carefully. After all, no data can truly be neutral, nor can any data viz. Um, okay, so now I'd like to show you an example of a sketchy chart that I like. This example of a sketchy chart that I really like, it doesn't actually come from the chart world, but it comes from the art world. And it's from the wonderful UK based artist, Sam Winston and his artwork, uh, Drawing Breath. So for this artwork, Sam spent 15 hours creating a drawing where for every breath he took, he drew a pencil line. And the length of each line also represents the duration of the breath that he took. And these marks were recorded over a 15 hour day without a break. So quite an amazing mixture of performance art and drawing. And this is what a close up of this artwork looks like where you can see the pencil lines in more detail where every one of these was drawn in time with the artist's breath. So if Sam just counted his breaths mechanically and then created a chart using data visualization software, the work would lose its power. Um, the act of neutralizing such personal data through feeding it through technical software would create a massive distance between the viewer and the documentation of this intimate human experience they were gazing upon. 
Rather, a handmade approach reinforces the drawing's direct connection to his breath and his experience. As though, um, as through seeing his drawn lines and knowing that what you're seeing is the documentation of 15 hours of lived experience, um, this work, this data visualization becomes incredibly compelling and wondrous to behold, and it makes you feel more connected to the artist and artwork. And yeah, that's it. Uh, that's um, all from me about a sketchy style. So I just, um, you know, hope you take this all into consideration and, and really think about why you want to use it before you go and use it. And that'll just make um, your chart much, much stronger. Thanks. And thanks to Stephanie for that great review of this sketchy technique or this gooey technique. Lots of examples out there and I've included a few in my new book. So I hope you will consider using this technique in your own work, uh, either when it comes to qualitative data or when it comes to quantitative data. And so if you come back tomorrow, we're gonna talk about one more visualization category and then we're gonna wrap up this entire series. So come back tomorrow and I'll see you then.